All right, now we're going to be running the SQL file that will create the databases, aka schemas, that you'll be using throughout the rest of the course. If you haven't already downloaded the Create Maven Consulting SQL file from the Course Resources section, go ahead and do that now. And then let's jump into Workbench, and I'll show you how to run that file to install the databases. So again, your instance of MySQL Workbench should look very similar to mine, but you won't have the Maven Fuzzy Factory or the Maven Movies databases installed. Those are from my beginner SQL for data analysis courses and my advanced SQL for analytics and business intelligence courses. So don't worry if you don't see those. You will see Sys here and you should be in good shape. The first thing that I want you to do, I want you to look at this command that I have here, set global max underscore allowed underscore packet equals 10737-41824. So what this is gonna do is increase the size of the file that Workbench will accept. Just go ahead and do this. It will prevent you from running into errors if you end up trying to run a file that's too big. This was a problem for students in one of our previous courses, so I think it's a good idea to just get this done here. It's very simple. All you need to do, type that, and then go ahead and click on this lightning bolt. You should see down here at the bottom in the action output a green check, and it will just repeat what you've written here as the action. Once you do that, you will be good to go. And now next, we're gonna go up to the top and we're gonna run file, run SQL script. So click on file in the top of your screen and then click run SQL script. Then you'll navigate to wherever it is on your machine that you downloaded the create maven consulting.sql file. And we'll go ahead and open that. So next you see the run SQL script modal open up you'll see a preview of the code that's in that file. Don't change any of the code. If you change any of the code, you'll corrupt the file potentially, you'll get errors. Don't do anything here, except just click on the run button. You don't wanna add a default schema name, that could potentially give you trouble. You don't wanna add a default character set, just go ahead and click run. So when you do that, you should see this output and we see operation completed successfully. And I'll go ahead and close that. And now if I refresh my schemas tab here by clicking on the refresh icon, we'll see a whole bunch of additional schemas pop in here. So you should see candy store, candy store old, you won't see Maven Fuzzy Factory unless you took the advanced SQL course. You will see Maven Fuzzy Factory Mini. You won't see Maven Movies, but you will see Maven Movies Mini. You'll see Online Learning School, Sloppy Joes, and Thrift Shop. And of course, you'll have Sys, which is the default. You're going to always want to leave that there. If you see all these schemas, then you're good to go. If you had any trouble, feel free to grab any error messages that may have popped up. You can send them to me for help. You can punch them into Google if you want a really quick response. There's a lot of good content out here on MySQL. It's a very common language, but I'm also happy to help you troubleshoot. Hopefully this was easy. And if you need help, reach out. And if not, you're ready to move on to the rest of the course.